Now it's time for the border block in our series of specialty blocks. Uh, what's neat about the border blocks is it prohibits players from either entering or leaving the perimeter, like a fence. And what's also great about it is it works above or below the border. So you could place your border way up in the sky and nobody could see it and it would work all the way down through all the layers. Or you could place it under the ground so you couldn't see it and it would work above and below and anywhere. So it, it kind of does this nice wrap around to contain whatever you have in there. Uh, so let's go and look at that and see how we we set up border blocks. Um, one of the reasons we would use border blocks is if we want to keep students or players in a designated area. Um, maybe that's their work area or other areas of the 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 particular worlds. Um, you don't want them venturing in until they complete something in that world. So there's there's lots of ways to use and, and think about border box contain. But let's all right. Again, back at my blocks of grass world. And first thing we're gonna do is grab it from the inventory. So the letter E and I'll grab well, I don't need to grab wool because we're we're actually walking around in there. So Start typing in border, and there it is. It's construction block, and put it right in there. Ta-da. All right, remember, as in all cases with specialty blocks, make sure you know your world builder, builder status. So I'm just going to slash WB to see where I am, and it says I'm false. So remember, at false, you can't build. So if I try to place, it is not going to allow me to place any of these borders. And it back and there we go there's just one border it's like a fence so if you think about using a fence you're just basically creating the space and we'll just do a simple shape here all right so I got a nice border block, you can see there. So that's a container. You also notice these kind of red things flying from the top. You can turn those off so nobody even knows that there's a border there, but they'll be able to tell um, and even if you had them buried under the ground. So now I'm going to switch back my world builder status because right now you can fly right through it, right? No problem. You can go under it. Take a tunnel, go under. See, no problem. You can go under it. All right. So now, let's change our world builder status back to false. And this is the typical. Um, what your students would have and those people joining worlds would have. They would have that false unless, you know, they've created the world. But if you're hosting, um, that status would remain. Or if you set up a command so that it always remained false every time they tried to change it. Unless, of course, they were owning the world. So now, let me try to go in. Oh, I'm stopped. Look. Go. Oh, I can go around it. But then I try to go again, and I can't. Let's try going under it and see how that works. Nope, so you've totally blocked. Can't go under it, can't go over it. Even try going up high, you're like thinking, oh, I can outlast this thing. Well now, look, totally can't go. I'm trying to go forward as much as possible. There I can now. So it's keeping me out. Um, let's switch back world builder status. So now I'm gonna go in it. So now I'm in. Now let's change our world builder status. And looks like I'm going to be stuck in here, right? First of all, I can't break it. Can't go out. 
and can destroy and place blocks inside, of course. But if I try to go underneath, I can't either. So again, it's working like it should. Either you're in or you're out, and it contains you. All right, so let's talk about getting rid of these little red things. So um, I'm going to hit Escape, go to Settings, and it's going to be under Classroom, right here, Show Border Effect, right underneath the Mutable World. So turn that off, and now go back, and resume. Ah, no border effect. The only way they would know that there was a border is they would be stopped. Um, or if they saw it. So, of course, this could be buried underground. Some people like to put it above. Um, so it's really up to you on that and what you might do with the border blocks. And that's kind of some of the magic inside of, of what you can do with these specialty blocks and these border blocks. Uh, it can be a container. It can be used for a breakout. Now, some people... Your students might be like, oh, I know how to get out of here. I can use an ender pearl. So an ender pearl right there. And remember, I still can't get out. But if I use it and throw it, look at that. My students just escaped the area. So how do we prohibit them from using the ender pearl to get out of a contained area? So again, it's going to be back at your settings. So I'm going to hit escape, go to settings, and then classroom settings. Okay. And what you're going to want to do is not allow destructive items Let's see if that works and now it's working like it should I have an ender pearl but I can't throw it okay go back again I'll show you the difference settings classroom now allow destructive go back throw the ender pearl I land there I can even throw it yeah threw it inside <laughs> now let's change our status one more time just so you can see it again how it works classroom don't allow destructive and now I use the ender pearl again it won't even allow it. Okay, so doesn't mean I still can't build, right? Destroy items, it's just I can't use other items that I may that may be deemed as destructive. So of course you can add wool and put it past there. And then I can't go around it either. All right. So that's fun with the border box. Thanks.